Hey ladies and gents, this is Isdu is here with a review of the Cosmic Legion's Tusk Heavy Gunner. Now this one debuted at Ishcon in North Carolina. And uh, let me show you the box, as always, illustrated by Nate Barch. In the front, it's got the name Tusk Heavy Gunner from Cosmic Legions. And here in the front, it's got sort of um, an image of him. Then there is a story, Assault on Sector-ish C3. Now that's uh, a nod that I think Jeremy Gerard probably wrote into the bio to commemorate the fact that Ishkan was the place where this figure debuted. Um, so that is, you can, you can pause that. And you can read about the assault on Sector Ish C3 if you'd like. Um, on the back, it's got the cross cell of look at how many Cosmic Legions have come out in a very, very short period of time. Like the, the line is still in its infancy, but they've really been coming out. There's the top there, the 4 H logo on that planet, and then the tusk heavy gunner bio here which i will um read for you tusk heavy gunner officially the traders union of the five circles of cosmerian or tusk are a trade organization this makes the fact that a full-fledged military infrastructure exists among the ranks of this alliance of private firms that much more unusual ostensibly sanctioned for the security of the alliance and protection of its assets and interests. It is a widely known fact that Tusk forces are just as often used for intimidation of rival organizations and acquisition of new territories as they are utilized for the protection of existing arrangements. At the front of many of these offensive endeavors are the Tusk heavy gunners, outfitted in heavily reinforced armor and wielding large pulse blasters whose destructive capacity rivals even the weapons of the Feyrox, these soldiers are often sent into a territory in order to quell resistance to the fruitful progression of commerce. In reality, the Tusk Heavy Gunners are a tool used to eliminate opposition through whatever means is directed to achieve the outcomes desired by the directorial board of the Traders Union. So obviously, uh, <coughs> company police or uh, private militia, and um, they uh, do whatever they're bid to do. Uh, toward that end so kind of cool uh, there's a mercenary element to them um, I really really love this design I love the colors um, and who doesn't like a heavy gunner and I, you've seen those I think um, in the Mandalorian uh, the Star Wars equivalent at least and they look really cool and this design you know um, from Eric Treadaway and the Four Horsemen uh blows that away rivals that in every respect because it's new it's unique it's something that we really haven't seen before um and that's kind of cool it, to have something fresh there and not just the mandalorian armor that we've had since the 1970s tweaked uh, a, a million times but um i i yeah i like the mandalorian heavy gunner but i like this even better um, and I like this particular iteration because of the color scheme and just how awesome he looks. So let's take a, a quick look and a closer look at him. This is him with um, basically all of his um, bulked up armor on. So the other cool thing about this is that you can modify it in different ways so that the armor looks different. And a sleeker, if you should so desire. First of all, let's take a look at this big gun here. It's massive. We've seen this before um, with, I think, uh, another heavy gunner whose name was Vorga, I believe. But um, it's really, really detailed and nicely painted here. Uh, and let me see if I can get it out of his hands where it fits really snugly so that you can also see a lot of the details on the armor and then I can show you, give you a good look at this magnificent gun. 
Um, so you can see all the rivets painted and different shades of metal. Um, just a beautiful, beautiful job on this and just a great design. Um, looks massive and powerful. You got copper here, you've got like a slate and then just a, another metallic. And you know, you need a really cool gun if you're gonna be a heavy gunner. It's got this piece here so you can um, interchange with other pieces in other, uh, with other figures. Like I, there's the miner's drill, but why would you wanna do that when you have this cool of a weapon? And it goes so well with this massively armored up and powerful, you know, foot soldier in the Tusk organization. Um, love this belt with all those pouches, right? Looks very cool and utilitarian at the same time. He's got this other weapon, which um, we've seen before as well, but also very nicely painted up. And nicely detailed with painted rivets, painted handle, uh, and then we have these four sort of, um, or uh, this is to, to holster it and put it on his belt if you'd like. We get four of those, which is an accessory that comes with so many of these figures. So yeah, he's loaded for bear. He's got the giant heavy gun, but he also has the other one for other purposes. So yeah, let's take a look at it. You got back here in the calves like a jet pack. So I imagine he flies <coughs> kind of like the Bandalorian. I really like this color scheme. I can totally see people using this to do like uh, Ninja Turtle. <laughs> Ninja Turtle customs. I think Eric Miller was the first one who did it. But, you know, this green and this orange, this uh, highly rem reminiscent of that. This is the way I've configured the tubing on the arms, but there are a bunch of different ways that you can configure it. Um, you know, there are ports everywhere. There are ports here on the side of the, um, I guess this would be a fault or just that, that piece of armor. There's a port on the back of the belt with the, uh, that going on. But I thought it looked cool having it come from this giant piece of heavy armor. And um, the other thing about this is, right, you can fi configure it any way you want, shape it any way you want. Um, it, it, it'll look cool. Uh, I did note that um, you heat, heat up the ports before you put those in. It makes stuff a lot easier. You could, might be able to do it without heating up the ports, but I find that, you know, just a little touch with the hair dryer does a really, really good job. So I love the sleekness of this armor and of course the detail of the paint and the metallics and right here this orange it's just it's not a flat orange it's just kind of a um, almost could be like leathery in appearance um, even though I'm sure it's you know it's armor so that wouldn't be leather but I'm just saying that touch of verisimilitude that comes with the wash and then like a smattering of different um, looking colors. So here I've taken off this uh, large helmet so you could see what's underneath. There is this mechanical sort of uh, looking head with tech on it, but it also comes with this piece that you can put on the head so that it covers up the mechanicals. And then that's a little bit of a sleeker look than the bigger uh, helmet. It's um, good to have choices. You know, I like I like the bulked up look, especially with these huge uh, shoulder pauldrons and um, pads. But you can, of course, snap off that head, and you can army build with these guys, right? And then there's this big piece that you can pull off, right? That's where I've attached that and then you have that sleeker body sort of like a you know form-fitting armor like you might have on um, Iron Man right so you can army build this you can ha have your figures less sort of bulked up and the silhouette with this 
is also really, really nice, right? So that look, maybe um, before they're fully uh, integrated into the massive battle armor is also very cool. And I think it's gonna make this a popular option. The other thing that you could do is you could, of course, take off the pauldrons. Those are in there really nice and snug. Again, a hit into the portholes with, uh, wow, yeah, they are in there really nice and snug. I just put them in, but uh, then you can see what's what that would look like, more of a droid-like appearance. So it's a really, really versatile figure, right? I can see people really building their legions up and having, you know, every different iteration of this with that sleek armor or with this piece or, you know, with these, um, this tubing configured in different ways, you take the same basic figure and there's sort of countless variations to it. Um, here's another piece that plugs into the back and you can, uh, use that to even plug in some of these tubes right into the back area gives you a couple of different places to do that he also comes with this little wrist launching mini missile thing that's really cool so that's another way to sort of you know take the silhouette and change it a little bit. It gives them a very, very cool um, look. And then of course, we've got the whole plethora of extra hands. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six extra hands. So, uh, you know, trigger fingers, grasping hands. You've got the wrist uh, that, will allow you to sort of move things up and down. And then the one, you, you have the other wrists, which will do it side to side. So you can get the gun, that heavy gun, into a bunch of different configurations as well. So I want to congratulate the Four Horsemen on this awesome figure, the really cool deco. And at the same time, um, I want to... Uh, I want to, you know, congratulate the, the folks at Ishkan for while wow, getting this event up and running building all the excitement for the community um, taking advantage of the opportunity to have this debut figure and also um, you know build up the the community there locally and sort of step into the breach because PowerCon was not going to happen this year in Ohio I guess due, due to some scheduling issues and then uh, Ishkan just kind of seamlessly stepped in there uh, and then they've had their latest cosmic review, so they had that also at Ishcon. So a lot of exciting new stuff coming up with cosmic, and you know I I I love this figure. I think it's a great addition to the cosmic universe. Um, who doesn't like like a you know a army of of bad guys working for an evil corporation? I and and just totally armored up with a massive gun ready to kick butt like it doesn't really get any better than that so quick note about some of the other figures that i that i put together here i copied uh i forget who it was who um kit bashed balam into the cosmic universe um, and used forga the heavy gunner her arms and all that but um copied that of course and uh so that just shows you some of the fun that you can have uh popping and swapping and kit bashing in this case, taking a character, Balam, from Mythic Legions and putting him in space since he's one of my favorites. And since that sort of, you know, heavy gunner armor and profile and stuff. Uh, it's so cool. I just couldn't resist doing that. I love that when somebody puts up a, a, a custom and then uh, you know you can make your own this i bought at um a local toy show from somebody from the cabal who i'm forgetting his name but he calls that the turd minator 
<laughs> so I couldn't resist that heavily, uh, you know, the heavy gun action there. So, um, the, you know, there's certain niches at that scratch an itch, and I think that's what he, that's what the heavy gunner does. He's got that, he scratches that itch for the armored up, you know, military uh, presence and, you know, with the, with the huge gun, right? And that's what um, Terminator does here and Balam also, uh, uh, as well as sort of a um, variation on that theme as well. All right. Uh, one more thing. I just really want to um, congratulate David Williams. He's from my hometown, Tucson, Arizona. And he made a custom that was fe featured in the Four Horsemen latest Cosmic Reveal. It's a buzz off tribute. And the custom was so cool and so perfect that the Four Horsemen are like, we, you know, can't improve on that in any way. We want to bring uh, this idea into the fold and, and do that. So David Williams went all the way to North Carolina from Arizona, kind of figured something was up because that, that is a long ways to go. But he got that his custom figure made as a as a tribute, and it was in the latest reveal. And I also want to congratulate him because I think I was the first one to to interview him, go to his house, and show off his talents uh, as far as the YouTubers or reviewers are concerned. So I kind of feel like I've watched him in this journey, and now he's you know getting his figure put into the line, his custom figure put into the line. He's designing pins and doing artwork for and with the four horsemen so awesome great job david williams a big part of the community humble guy and just one of the nicest people that you'll ever meet so um anyway um shout out to david williams but uh is sign out